Hey there, Mr. Weaver here, and this is 8th grade, module 1, lesson 5, scientific notation. After this lesson, you need to be able to write very large and very small numbers using scientific notation. Let's learn scientific notation. Numbers that do not contain exponents are written in standard form. However, when you work with very large or very small numbers, it can be difficult to keep track of the place value. Scientific notation is a compact way of writing very large or very small numbers. So for scientific notation, it's a way of expressing a number as the product of a factor and an integer power of 10. So we're going to have some number and a power of 10, and then product meaning multiplication. When the number is positive, which it should be, the factor is going to be greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10, which we can see down here where A is our factor. It's between 1 and 10. 1 is okay to use, 10 is not. Scientific notation is written like this, the factor times some power of 10. We can see in our example down here, so if we have 425 million, with this number here written in standard form, equals 4.25 times 10 to the 8th power. So we have our factor that's between 1 and 10 times 10 to some power. Over here again, we have our standard form. So remember, no exponents for standard form. And then we have our scientific notation version of the same number. Both the left and the right numbers represent the same value. Just one of them is written in standard form, one scientific notation. Circle yes or no to determine whether each number is written in scientific notation. Pause the video quick and see if you can figure out which ones are written in scientific notation. For the first one, it is not. This number here is not between 1 and 10. For the second one, again, if that one is, 2.09 is between 1 and 10, and it's times 10 to a power, so that's good. The third one, 9.5, is good. It's between 1 and 10. Even if our exponent is negative, that's fine. And last, 0 0.526, this is not, this number here is not bigger than 1, but less than 10. It is less than 1. Example 1, write numbers in standard form. Write 5.34 times 10 to the fourth power in standard form. There are going to be two methods for this. So method one, write the power as a product. So 5.34 times 10 to the fourth means that factor, and then remember when we were dealing with exponents, it means it's using this base this many times. So we have 10 multiplied together four times. Well, 10 multiplied together four times is 10,000. So really this is the same as 5.34 times 10,000. Now we're gonna multiply our factor times 10,000, which gives us 53,400. So 5.34 times 10 to the fourth is the same as 53,400. The second method is to move the decimal point. And this is the way, honestly, I do it most of the time because I find it faster. So moving the decimal point places to the right is a result of multiplying the number by 10. So when you multiply a number by 10 to the fourth, essentially you just move the decimal point four places to the right. So the exponent on the power of 10 tells you how many places to move it. In this case, it's four. And because that number is positive, you would move it to the right. So we can see here 5.34 times 10 to the fourth it starts off as the same numbers, 5, 3, 4, and then we can see the little arrows moving, how they got that. They moved it 1, 2, 3, 4 places, so our new decimal point would be over here. Any gaps fill in with zeros, and then you can put your commas in to help you with your place value. So we would have a comma right here, 53,400. We get the same thing just by moving the decimal point. Check your understanding. Write the number given in standard form. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have said 993,100. So to get that, I'm going to take my factor, 9931. My decimals are originally here. 10 to the fifth means move it five places to the right. So one, two, three would be after the one, four, five. Fill with my zeros, add my commas to help with my place value. Example two, write numbers in standard form. So write 3.27 times 10 to the negative three in standard form. When we're working with scientific notation, the negative exponents just mean we're going to divide by 10 each time, or we'll see in method two, move the decimal place to the left. So method one here, let's write it as a power of a product. We're going to do the same thing that we did with a positive exponent, except when we're multiplying, remember, a negative exponent, negative one, means that it's one over that number. So really, this is one over 10 to the third, which means it was one tenth times one tenth times one tenth. So if we're doing that, 3.27 times 1 tenth times 1 tenth times 1 tenth is 1 1 thousandth. Multiplying by a fraction is the same as multiplying the top but dividing the bottom. So really we're dividing by a thousand. We end up with 0 0.00327. So 3.27 times 10 to the negative 3 would be 0 0.00327. Now, dealing with negative exponents in scientific notation and actually even positive ones, again, I find this method a little more difficult to do, but it is one of the ways you can work. Let's look at how the same thing works with method 2 of moving the decimal point. So when we're dividing by 10, as indicated by the negative exponent, you are moving your decimal point to the left. So when we're doing to the negative three, that would mean we're moving three places to the left. Just like before, the exponent tells you how many times to move. 
And if it's negative, you're moving to the left. So in this case, three places to the left. Just like before, we're going to take our factor. So 3.27 was our original factor. I see I'm going to move the decimal negative three. So I have to go three places to the left. When you're moving with a negative exponent, make sure you put your decimal place in before you put your zeros as your placeholders, because when the number is less than zero, that decimal point becomes super important. Unlike when we did our positive exponent, where the decimal is at the end and isn't really that important. But with these numbers that are between zero and one, that decimal becomes super important. This is 0 0.00327. Check your understanding. Write the given number in standard form. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have got 0 0.000602. So again, start with our base factor times 10 to the negative four. So I gotta move four places in the negative direction to the left and fill my gap with zeros where my decimal point is. 0, 0, 0, 6, 0, 2. Let's learn scientific notation and technology. On a calculator, it will convert numbers to scientific notation only if they are very large or very small. So in fact, too large for the calculator to just show you if you typed in, say, one times 10 to the sixth, one million in scientific notation, it would just show up as one million, one with six zeros. Once the number is too large or too small, it's going to look something like this. It's going to show up like 8e11. What that means is it's eight, the number out front, the e is like the multiplied by 10, and then the number after is the power. So 8e11 would mean eight times 10 to the 11th. Same thing would happen if it's a negative exponent, your factors out front, e is the times 10 part, and then your exponent is negative 12, so 2.5 times 10 to the negative 12. Example three, scientific notation and technology. So I'll write this number in standard form, the one that's given in our screen over here. We have four e negative seven. So four e negative seven, which means four is our factor. The e is the times 10 and our exponent is negative seven. So four times 10 to the negative seven. Now, if we want to write this in standard form, because our calculator didn't do that for us, we would take our factor, which is four and move the decimal seven places to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Our decimal is going to be here. All of these have to be zeros. So our final would become 0 0.123456 zeros and then the 4. So 4 times 10 to the negative 7 is 0 0.00000004. Check your understanding. The calculator screen shows the diameter of a grain of sand in inches. Which numbers represent the number on the calculator screen? Select all that apply. Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answers. You should have said the second one, 0 0.0024, and the fourth one, 2.4 times 10 to the negative three. This fourth one here is what it's showing there exactly, right? Our factor is 2.4, the e is the times 10, and the negative three is our exponent. Then if we were changing this to standard form, we'd have two, four, one, two, three, so zero, zero, two, four, which is that second one. Let's learn, write numbers in scientific notation. When writing a positive number in scientific notation, the sign of the exponent can be determined just by examining the number in standard form. So if the number is greater than or equal to 10, so starting at 11, all the way up to as big of a number as you can think of, the exponent is going to be positive. So for example, 5,860,000 has a positive exponent of six. If the number is between zero and one, so it's a very small number, then the exponent will be negative. So if you see the decimal place before the numbers, then you know your exponent is going to be negative. Example four, write numbers in scientific notation. Write 3,725,000 in scientific notation. Here, they are showing the number written as a product. So they took the digits, 3752, and put it into the proper format. Then, because this was 3 million, then we know we're going to be multiplying by a million. So it ends up being 3.752 times 1 million, which 1 million then is written as 10 to the sixth power. So 3,725,000 would be 3.725 times 10 to the sixth. There is a second method, just like we were doing it when we were writing numbers in standard form, that I want to show you. It's essentially using the move the decimal method, but backwards. So I know that my factor here has to be 3.725, because that way it puts it between 1 and 10. So I'm going to put my decimal point here. Then I'm going to move it to the end. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It took me six places to get to the end, and I moved in the positive direction. So 3.725 times 10, and I had to move positive six places to get to the end. So 3.725 times 10 to the six. Check your understanding. Which expression represents the given number in scientific notation? Pause the video now and complete the check.
Check your answer. You should have said A, 8.785 times 10 to the ninth. So to get that, my decimal would have to go here between the first and second number to make it between 1 and 10. And then I'm going to move the decimal till I get to the end down here. So how many spaces is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 spaces till the end. So my exponent would have to be 9. And remember, since the number is larger than 10, we know our exponent has to be positive anyway, so that would rule out C to begin with. Example 5. Write numbers in scientific notation. Write 0 0.000316 in scientific notation. So here they are showing you the method again, using it as a product. So we have 3.16 times 0 0.0001, which is the same as 1 over 10 to the 4th. So this would be 3.16 times 10 to the negative 4th. Again, I find myself making less mistakes if I just use the moving the decimal point backwards. So I know the decimal point has to go right here between the 3 and the 1. This time I had to move 1, 2, 3, 4 in the negative direction. So that's where we get our exponent of negative 4. Either way you want to do it, make sure you are getting the correct value. Check your understanding. Which expression represents 0 0.524 in scientific notation? Pause the video now and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have said C, 5.24 times 10 to the negative 1. Our decimal place would have to go between the 5 and the 2, and we only had to move it one place to get where it was shown. So, there's my negative 1. Let's learn. Use scientific notation. When using very large or very small quantities, it's important to choose the appropriate size of measurement. For example, it's more appropriate to represent the distance from California to New York as 2,441 miles, as opposed to 1.55 times 10 to the 8 inches. Although both are correct, people are more likely to understand what you're talking about when you reference it in miles. So we need to make sure we're choosing the appropriate unit for measurement. Pause the video and take a second to choose the units that are more appropriate for measuring the situations. First, the time that it takes to travel from Florida to Michigan should be measured in hours. If you're not familiar with a map of the United States, Michigan is up here, Florida all the way down here. It takes quite a few hours to drive from one to the other. You would not want to measure it in a minute. In fact, I believe it takes three to four hours to fly from Michigan to Florida or Florida to Michigan. You would want to express that in hours so people can understand. The thickness of a penny should be represented in millimeters. Pennies are not very thick, maybe about that. Whereas a meter, although we don't use that measurement very often in the United States, a meter is about 39 inches, definitely not the thickness of a penny. The length of a football field, they measure that in yards. A football field is 100 yards long without the end zones. We would not want to measure that in inches. And the weight of a paperclip, if you've held one in your hand, you would measure it in ounces rather than in pounds, as they do not weigh very much. You can estimate very large or very small numbers by expressing them in the form of a single digit times an integer power of 10. Estimating very large or very small numbers makes them easier to work with. So if we want to estimate the numbers, for example, the population of the United States in a recent year was 324,430,860. We can estimate that just by taking the first number or rounding to the first number. So our hundreds of millions of people is about equal to 300 million. And we use this little symbol when we're estimating or rounding off to show that it's an approximation and not exact. So now we have 300 million, which is equal to three. There's our single digit. Our decimal of three would be there. We need to get to the decimal at the end. How many spaces? That would take eight. Another example, the diameter of an animal cell was measured at 0 0.000635. We can round that off to just the six at the end, which is easier to express as six times 10 to the negative four. Example six, choose units of appropriate size. If you could walk at a rate of two meters per second, it would take you 1.92 times 10 to the eight seconds to walk to the moon. Is it more appropriate to report this time as 1.92 times 10 to the 8 seconds or 6.09 years? Explain your reasoning. Because this is such a large distance and we end up with such a large number of seconds, 192 million seconds, for most people, it would be more meaningful to report the time in years, 6.09 years. So here, because the distance is larger, we would want to choose the larger unit of measurement. So the measure of 6.09 years would be more appropriate to fit the time. Check your understanding. Read through the situation and choose which unit of measurement would be more appropriate. Check your answer. We would be better off reporting this as 1.3 times 10 to the negative 2 millimeters. Plant cells are very small, so we would want to choose our smaller unit to help make it more meaningful. So here we would want to choose our millimeters, making it B. Example 7. Estimate with scientific notation. 
the population of Missouri is 6,063,589 people. Write an estimation in scientific notation for the population. So first, for our estimation, we're going to round off. So we're just left with one digit, our six. Are we going to round up? We are not. So this is approximately six million. Then six million would just be our six. And then how many places would we have to move the decimal? One, two, three, four, five, six. To get to where it actually is, six times ten to the six. So the population of Missouri is estimated to be about six million people, or six times ten to the sixth people. Check your understanding, read through the situation, and write an estimation in scientific notation. Pause the video and complete the check. Check your answer. You should have said about 2 times 10 to the 5th, so I'm taking my value if I were to round it. So I just have one digit in my factor, and have 2, the 3 would round it down, and then I have 5 places till my decimal at the end. So 2 times 10 to the 5th. 